There are many things we see every day that have specific uses we are completely unaware of. Have you ever been curious about why a McDonald's McFlurry spoon looks so weird? Or what those extra lace holes on the side of a pair of Converse All-Stars are for? Well today, I'm going to shed some light on those odd everyday things. I'm Mike with List25, and these are 25 things you didn't know had special uses. Twenty-five, Margins on notebook paper Remember in high school when you would have to write an essay or answer an essay question? You'd always want thick little red margin lines to be as far away from the edge of the paper so you could write less? Did you ever wonder why those red lines exist in the first place? Well, it's because of rats. Seriously. When papers or books were kept centuries ago, rats would find their way into homes or libraries and gnaw on the edges of the books and papers. Margins were added on the edges so the writing wouldn't be lost to the ravenous little creatures. Take a look at very old books printed in the 1800s. It'll likely have very large margins around the edges of each page. 24. Padlock Holes Take a look at any padlock the kind you unlock with a key. Next to the keyhole, there is another very small hole. Why would that be there? Well, since padlocks are usually for outdoor use, they need to be able to stand up to difficult weather conditions. The tiny hole on the bottom allows water from the rain to pass through the lock so the interior doesn't become rusted. It's also used for spraying WD-40 or any other kind of oil into the lock to keep it opening smoothly. 23. Oyster Pails who doesn't love getting some delicious Chinese food delivered in those cool little white folded boxes? Those are called oyster pails. And when you get one, you know you're in for some deliciousness followed by a food coma. But did you know those boxes also have a special use? Take the wire handle off and then carefully unfold the box. You have a plate. These boxes are specifically designed to become nice little paper plates from which you can enjoy your meal. But if you're like me, you really just like eating it straight from the folded up box because it's just part of the experience. 22. French's Mustard Bottle Caps Some people are not crazy about mustard, but for me there's nothing better on a hot dog, a burger, a sandwich, or to dip a big pretzel in. But mustard can get messy. Somehow, the cap always seems to get messy and crusted up from getting mustard all over it. If you have French's brand mustard, then that wouldn't be a problem. The notch on the back of the lid is designed so the cap will snap open and stay in place, helping reduce mess to keep your bottle clean. 21. Microwave Oven Doors When you're waiting that never-ending two minutes for your food to cook in the microwave and you want to just watch the progress, this is when most of us do that microwave dance by moving our heads side to side so we can see through the mesh embedded in the door. As it turns out, that mesh is very important. The mesh in that microwave door is made of metal. The microwaves that cook your food carry radiation that could be harmful to humans. These waves are unable to move through any type of metal, which means the mesh is essentially keeping you safe. 20. Pom-pom hats. The classic winter hat. In England, they're called bottle hats. Some Dutch communities call them sipple caps. The best name for them is from Canada, where they're called toques. I'm of course talking about the classic winter hat with the pom-pom on top. That strange little ball of yarn is not just for decoration. The pom-poms were added to these hats because they were worn by French sailors where it acted as a cushion between their heads and the ceilings of ships, which are very low. It helped keep their heads safe during the rough seas. Oh, that's too low. See, in America, we just call them beanies. Nailed it. Got him. Good at this. 19. Cap on a box cutter. Many box cutters now come with a black cap on the end of the handle. It's not just a decoration. This cap has a very important function. When you use your cutter, the blade gets duller with each cut. But these caps help solve that problem. If you look at the blade, you'll see a line of grooves embedded in it. These are places where the blade can be broken to make a fresh blade. By removing it and slipping it over the end of the blade, it can be removed and used for just that purpose. 18. Foil and Plastic Wrap Boxes 
Why is it that foil and plastic wrap are so difficult to use? The foil roll pulls out of the box when you try to pull it out, and the plastic wrap, it's nearly impossible to get it to come out without it sticking to itself or unwrapping with one end pulled out and the other still wrapped around the roll. Why did they design it this way? Well, they actually didn't. If you look at each end of these boxes, you'll find two tabs indented into the cardboard. If you push these in, they keep the rolls from coming out of the box. Why didn't we realize this sooner? Just think of all the frustration that could have been avoided. 17, laundry baskets. Laundry baskets or hampers don't seem like there would need to be much special design consideration involved in their production. They're big baskets full of holes that hold dirty clothes. What could be the big surprise here? Well, it's actually the holes in the basket. Those holes are actually quite important. Dirty clothes tend to get moist or damp when they're worn. If they were just thrown in a bin when taken off, they could quickly become mildewed, which would ruin the clothes. The holes in the hamper allow for airflow, which helps keeps the clothes mildew free. 16, staplers. Have you ever tried to remove a staple from some paper? Even with a staple remover, it can be a difficult task. Most times having a staple be permanent is exactly what you need. But sometimes you need something bound together more temporarily. Common staples can be used for just that purpose. The silver plate uh, above which the staple actually penetrates paper can be rotated 180 degrees for a separate stapling function. Whereas a normal staple goes in through the paper and then curls in, the opposite side of the plate allows for the staples to turn outward instead, making them easier to remove. 15, condiment cups. Every time you go into a restaurant that uses those little paper cups for condiments, it's difficult to dip anything in when you get back to your table. How do the manufacturers expect you to get enough ketchup on your fries with those things? Well, they don't. Just like oyster pails, these cups were designed with you in mind. Those little pleats all along the cups are designed to be pulled apart, thereby making a little plate for you to use for all of your condiment needs. 14, spaghetti spoons. If I say spaghetti spoon, do you know what I mean? And no, I'm not, I'm not referring to a big spoon used to twirl your noodles around your fork. I'd be talking about the big one that you use to stir your pasta as it cooks. While it actually has many names, the purpose is the same. The teeth all around the sides help pick up your pasta, making it easier to serve. And the big hole in the middle lets the water flow out, but that is not its only purpose. Before cooking, put your dry spaghetti through the hole. When the spaghetti bunch fills the entire hole, you have the perfect single serving amount ready to cook. 13, refrigerator caps. There are small caps embedded in the casing of your refrigerator. They really don't seem to serve any purpose, so why are they there in the first place? Oddly, they have a very specific job. Those caps cover a nut that has been implanted so that the door can be opened from either side. If your refrigerator door opens out and to the left, and actually for you guys, out and to the left, <laughs> but that doesn't work for you, remove the bolts, take the door off, pull off those caps, and re-fasten it to the other side. Then put those caps back in place on the other side. 12. McDonald's sandwich boxes. Some would consider a Big Mac, fries, and a Coke the all-American meal. Three staples of the American diet made to be eaten on the go. But walking or driving while eating this is awkward at best. Don't worry, McDonald's has you covered. If you open your sandwich box, you'll notice a place right in the middle, right there. That is a place that you can uh, put your straw through. If you put the burger on one side and the fries on the other and rest it so much lettuce and you rest <laughs> on top of your drink, you're then ready to go. Uh, as a full disclosure, it seems that if you took a, a bunch of the fries out that it'd spill over to the other side, but they say it works. So let us know if you've tried this and actually not made a mess. 11, McFlurry spoons. Sticking with McDonald's, what exactly is the deal with the McFlurry spoons? They look like big, thick straws, but when you try to use them as such, it doesn't work. What's up with that? Well, the spoon is what is used to mix the ice cream treat. That shape fits directly onto the stirring mechanism and is sturdy enough to get all the ingredients stirred to perfection. 
They did think about making the spoon function as a straw as well, but some of those McFlurry mix-ins can be large enough to become a choking hazard, so that's out. 10. Jeans. Jeans have little metal rivets around the pockets that most people don't even notice. It would be understandable if those were viewed as a fashion accessory, but they're actually far from it. These little pieces of metal are called rivets. They're placed at stress points where simple stitching may not be enough. Rivets strengthen the pants to help them last longer. Thanks, little dudes. I appreciate you. 9. Elevator Doors Why is there a small hole in elevator doors? Does it even have a purpose? Well, it actually does, or else it wouldn't be on this list. So you know it did, even when I was asking the question. It's actually a keyhole. I didn't even know elevator doors had keys, but it makes sense. If the elevator gets stuck, there needs to be a way to get stranded riders out. It would be unsafe if you were able to just open the doors, so of course there's a key. 8. Bottle Caps Is there anything worse than a flat, soft drink? Well, I mean, yeah, there, there are lots of things that are worse, but it still stinks to get one. There's a design element used in bottle caps to make sure this doesn't happen to you. Inside the cap is a piece of plastic that sits between the bottle and the cap. It's a seal used to ensure that the contents don't lose its carbonation. 7. Car Headrests Hopefully you'll never actually have to use this one, but many headrests in cars are built so they can be removed. Why would they do this? Let's say you get stuck in your car. The bars that connect the headrest to the seat back can be used to break the windows so you can escape a dangerous situation. 6. Extra Eyelets in Athletic Shoes when shoes are laced, the laces run through the eyelets in the shoes. While dress shoes have a straight line of them, most athletic shoes have extra eyelets that all serve a distinct purpose. The ones at the very top of running shoes are referred to as heel locks. Their function is to provide an extra secure fit and prevent slippage. As your feet sweat, the moisture mixed with friction from the movement can cause chafing. This also holds true. Ugh. For Converse Chuck Taylor All-Stars, while these eyelets are not located at the top of the shoe, the two on the side of the Converse are there for bar lacing, which helps with a more secure fit. That's also why the laces are so long as well. They're very long. <laughs> 5. Sinks and Bathtubs There are either one or two holes, depending on the manufacturer, in your bathroom sinks and tubs. You may not have any idea what those are there for. Well, they actually have two uses. First, these are drainage points that help keep the water from overflowing. These openings also help the sink drain in another way as well. If you have a full sink, these allow air to escape while the sink drains. As it turns out, they're very important. Four, screwdrivers. Screwdrivers are pretty straightforward, but sometimes the screw can be particularly stubborn and not wanna come out. Twist as you will, you just can't get the right hold on the handle. Luckily, there is a solution built right in. Many screwdriver handles are made with four upper ridges with troughs in between each one. This allows the user to have the ability to use an adjustable wrench to help get the job done. If I could find it, you just put the wrench and tighten it. This will provide, oopsie, more torque to remove the screw. It's a mini wrench. Three. Soda can pull tabs. The tabs used to open drink cans are simple. Pull it toward you and the can, whoop, the can opens. Simple, but that's not all it was designed for. See, soda cans are filthy. Tests have shown that a drink can have one of the dirtiest surfaces around, but trying to use a straw in one of these cans is, you know, pretty awkward. Here, let's just try. Ugh. And it moves around. That's annoying. You gotta try to get it. And you do this this whole game. Tell you what, there's actually a solution. Turn the tab around. I'm trying to show this without actually spilling it. Turn the tab around like that. Oh boy. I hope you can see that. Oh boy. And slip the straw through the opening. And there you go. Now you have a nice handy straw holder. That was more complicated than it needed to be while holding a bunch of stuff. Two, cooking pan handles. Your everyday pots and pans have a use hidden right in plain sight. 
on every one of these kitchen tools, you know, ugh, unless the model you use specifically removes them, has a hole in the handle. Most people believe this hole is there so the potter pan can be hung for storage. While that is true, storage is not the main intended purpose. These are designed, I uh, got a lot of props with me today. <laughs> These are designed so the handle can be used as a wooden spoon holder. Forgot to get my wooden spoon. Although a perfect fit for wooden spoons, most other larger utensils can be placed there as well. So yeah, just like, you know, sweet. <laughs> perfect, lovely. Everything's, can I do it this way? I mean, yeah, perfect. One, the drawer under your oven. Speaking of kitchen stuff, you know that drawer at the bottom of your oven? The one that's used to store your baking sheets and pie pans, and maybe even your muffin tins? Yeah, it's not actually what it's used for. Although most people use this space for storage, I myself am guilty of this, it's actually known as a warming drawer. Its real purpose is to keep your finished food warm while you complete cooking the rest of your meal. Pretty nifty, huh? So, do you know any hidden uses that we may have missed? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos, including shorts. Don't forget to join our Discord. That's gonna be growing and that'll evolve. It's a little basic now, but we'll get there. You know, stick with us. And again, thank you for, become a member. Thank you for supporting us and getting this channel to, to grow and everything like that. We couldn't do it without you guys. We love you. Thank you so much and see you next time. Be Bye. sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.